I'm Kelly Frisch. I'm a general internist with Health Partners. I practice at the University Avenue Clinic, and I've been with Health Partners for about 19 years. I've been involved in medical education um, ever since I started in different roles. So for about 13 years, I spent as a site director for the internal medicine residents. So there's a lot of residents in the room that have graduated. I feel kind of old, Dan. I haven't seen you in probably 19 years. Um, <laughs> Um, and so now I currently work with Michelle, um, helping support graduate medical education across the enterprise. And Anne, I could not have planted that question better about our next panel is really um, segueing from that of really what is practice ready. And I can speak personally from, um, for historically and for years, when I went through training, what determined if I was practice ready is if I completed a number of months or a number of years of training and had enough ICU months or emergency medicine months, and then I passed my boards. Over the last 20 years, there's been a lot of um, really a lot of interest in looking at outcomes, which I don't think we've perfected. And then really looking at milestones, and really milestones of you know, a trainee, what does a trainee need to know, and, and uh, what qualities do they need to have, or competencies, to be comfortable heading into independent practice. And we know there's a lot of variables with that, including our changing care model. So we have four panelists here. I'm excited to hear all of their different viewpoints, and I asked them, to do a two, two to three minutes quick presentation of um, really their perspective on what's practice ready. And then I'm really going to invite all of you, I know in some of the communication that went out prior, is thinking of what you would like to see or what, how do you define practice ready. And so I'll start, our first panelist is uh, Gwen Vercota. She's the care delivery manager at Virtual and a family nurse practitioner. Um, she's re responsible for hiring and training all virtual providers and leads who work at remote locations. They all work at home across Minnesota and Wisconsin. And she's responsible for the science behind the virtual protocols, making sure best practices are maintained within 60 conditions, uh, managed by the providers on a 24-7, 365 basis in 12 states. Actually, they provide care from New York, California. Um, next, we have Charlie Leyes. Uh, Charlie is an OBGYN physician and has been with Health Partners for about 16 years. He's the department chair of OBGYN for Health Partners and is division director for uh, Health Partners Specialty Care. Uh, next in line, we have Dr. Shannon Neal. Uh, Shannon is a family physician at Park Nicollet and chair of the family medicine department. She's also faculty in the Methodist Hospital Family Medicine Program. Um, she's been with Park Nicollet since 2002. Prior to that, was in practice in Santa Cruz. And I didn't get to ask you why you ever moved here from California. But, um, and last but not least is Cheryl Magnus and Gisi. And uh, Cheryl's the senior director for physician and clinician services. Um, and in this role, uh, she's responsible for recruitment of physicians and advanced practice clinicians and responsible for performance management of physicians.